Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. When dealing with data and users from around the world, it is often necessary to convert dates and times from one time zone to another. For that, we can use the convert TZ function. Now, this function takes three arguments. The date we want to convert, the source time zone, and the target time zone. There are two different ways we can specify source and target time zones. Our first example uses the named time zones U.S. Eastern and U.S. Pacific. Our second example uses the hour offset from UTC. To use named time zones, you need to ensure your time zone tables are set up correctly. Check out the link for that below. When we run this query, we can see that when it is 4 a.m. on September 28th, 2023 in the Eastern time zone, it is 1 a.m. on the same day in the Pacific time zone. When using the UTC offset, we can see that when it is 4 a.m. on September 18th, 2023 in UTC, it is 11 p.m. on September 17th, 2023 in UTC minus five hours which just happens to be Eastern time. There may be times when we need to deal with part of a date or time rather than the full date or time. MySQL has you covered there with quite a few functions to extract that information from a date or time. Oddly enough, one such function is named extract, and it just takes one argument, and that argument is in the format of date part from date. In this query, we are using extract to get the year, month, and day from the current date. There are other functions that can accomplish the same result. We are also using the year, month, and day functions to extract that same data from the current date. When we look at the results, we see that the year, the month, and the day are each returned twice. The next set of examples are functions I might not use very often, but still find quite useful. The last day function will return the last date in the month of the given date. The from days function converts the given day number into a date. Be careful with old dates. The from days function is not meant to be used with values that precede the advent of the Gregorian calendar in 1582. The sec to time function takes an integer that represents a number of seconds and converts it into hours, minutes, and seconds. The two days function returns the number of days since year zero for a given date. The two seconds function returns the number of seconds from year zero for a given date and time. Both the two days function and the two seconds function carry the same warning as with from days and were not intended to be used with dates that precede the Gregorian calendar. Look at the results to see what values are returned for each of these functions. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.